So if you're watching this, that means I've done it. That means I've lost a decent amount of weight. Uh, this is my first time even doing something like this. Overnight, Disney, ABC's parent company, announcing they are closing Walt Disney World in Orlando and Disneyland Paris through the end of the month. This is the important part though. This is the part of the video where I actually tell you how I lost the weight, how you could lose the weight, uh, because this is something I've really struggled with doing for pretty much a decade now. And losing weight is simultaneously the easiest and the hardest thing that you can do, but at the end of the day, uh, it really is really easy to lose weight. And that's coming from someone that's failed at losing weight a lot of times. I, I couldn't even tell you how many times I've tried to do this, and I finally figured out the ways to actually do it. So if you're someone that's been struggling to lose weight for a very long time, if you follow everything I'm about to tell you to do, uh, you will lose weight. You will shred off body fat very quickly uh, and you will be able to actually keep it off because a lot of people lose the weight and then within like three years, 95% of people will gain the weight back. Uh, really hope not to be one of those people. But at the same time, I finally figured out a system where I enjoy what I eat, I enjoy my workouts, and I just figured out a sustainable way to actually take this weight off and then do with whatever I want to do with my body from now on, whether it be gain more muscle, uh, lean out even more. Uh, I know what I'm doing and I'm not a pro. I didn't come out of the womb with a six pack. I'm not a certified personal trainer. I'm just a guy that was heavier than he wanted to be and wanted to learn how to lose the weight. Did a ton of research, whether it be YouTube videos, podcasts, books. I dove deep and I just want to summarize all that information and give it to you so you can finally get the body that you've been wanting for a very long time. I'm not a scientist. I don't know the science behind all the specifics of why these steps work. I just know they really work and it will work for you. But to actually lose the weight before we even get into the steps of how I did it, you're going to need two things. You're going to need discipline and you're going to need patience. And if you're one of those people that has neither of those things, well, you either are going to learn about them very quickly or you're going to fail once again. Discipline is what keeps yourself accountable for all your actions. It's the consistency of doing the things I'm about to tell you. I know I keep pushing off this list of things to do. I know that's what you want, but I, I can't stress this enough where if you don't do these things every single day, you're never gonna get the results that you really want. And then there's the patience part of it. This is not a YouTube video titled, How to Lose 137 Pounds in Two Weeks, because guess what? That person that made that video, they probably fucking died by the time I uploaded this one. Patience is what really makes you appreciate progress, because in the beginning, you're gonna look at yourself, you're gonna see the same you that you've been seeing this whole time. But even though it's been six months of me just grinding this out, it got to the point where I was like, damn, this really only felt like two weeks. Like, it didn't feel like I was doing this for six months at all. That being said, let's get into the list. This is not only how I lost the weight, this is how you will lose weight. 
you will lose weight healthily, healthily. You're going to be taking off body fat at a very steady rate, so it's not too much too soon, and it's just gonna make you feel great by the time you're doing this, like, after you do it for like three days, you're gonna be like, damn, I feel phenomenal right now. Number one, the most important one, you could disregard every other thing I tell you and you will still lose weight. That's how important this is. Like I said, the other things I say will help you shred body fat faster, but as long as you're in a caloric deficit, you will lose weight. Now I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, Chase, I don't wanna count calories, that sounds boring as hell. And all I gotta say is, well bro, if you don't count every single calorie, you will not lose the weight. I really hate when people try and argue with me on this. I've become very passionate about fitness, mind you, over the past six months. It just pisses me off beyond belief when someone says, yeah, well, you don't really need to count calories. They don't know what they're talking about. It's the only way to measure what you're taking into your body every day. It's the only way to know what you should be taking into your body every day because whether you wanna gain muscle, lose weight, or just maintain the weight you're at, you gotta know how many calories you're supposed to eat a day. My Fitness Pal is the best app of all time. I'm not close to being popular enough to be sponsored by them. I'm just letting you know, it's the best app you could possibly get. You put in your height, your current weight, how active you are. It tells you what you should be eating every day and then just subtract 500 of that if that's what you wanna do. If you're trying to lose weight, you subtract 500 from that number. If you're trying to gain muscle, you add 500 to that number. Whatever that number is, it's an important number and you have to know what that number is before you even attempt to start losing weight. Now there's a lot of information about macros, which is basically just protein, carb, fats. Uh, the first like two weeks, I wouldn't even worry about that. I would just look at how many calories you're supposed to eat and eat that amount of calories every single day. But to give you a heads up, if you wanna get a more pleasurable physique in the sense that you have more muscle and by the time you're losing all this weight, you're not like the skinny fat that some people have, you wanna really make sure you're trying to eat at least 50% of your diet is protein. Don't quote me on that, there's a way to actually determine how much protein you should be eating. You, there's just protein calculators, just Google it. And when I say count calories, you have to count every single thing you eat. It's not just the protein, it's not just measuring the meats, it is measuring the dressing you put on your salad. It is measuring the olive oil that you're using to cook your dish. It is every single thing that you have to count. And guess what? You're gonna have to grow up, you're gonna have to spend $15 on a food scale at Walmart, and it's really not that intimidating. Some people are intimidated by this thing, I kinda was at first, but if you pass second grade math, I promise, man, you'll be good to go. Next thing, really important thing, the reason I lost the weight this time, uh, do not give up your favorite food at all. You can still eat whatever you want while you're losing weight, and I think, myself included at one point, everyone thinks it's the opposite of that. If you wanna eat the unhealthy thing, you could have it, you just have to measure out the portions, you need to know what is actually going in your body. But even better, just learn healthier alternatives to making your favorite foods. Like, I was born and raised in Jersey, I could never give up pizza. There's just no way I could do it. The best YouTuber of all time is this guy, Remington James, I will link him down below. Check out this man's channel. He just posts every sort of cheat food that you could think of, but it's a healthier version of it. It's high protein. I was very skeptical because I was like, man, this is gonna taste like garbage for sure, but I tried so many of his recipes and that's that's all I eat. My diet today, let me read you what I'm eating today. High protein Chick-fil-A nuggets, uh, cut up home fries, uh, pepperoni flatbread pizza, some Smart Pop Classic Butter Popcorn. Check that shit out, it's unbelievable. A chocolate protein shake with a scoop of dehydrated peanut butter, and that's it. <laughs> but that's still only 1,462 calories. Like, that's, that's just stupid. I could eat all of this, and I've been eating like this every damn day for the past 158 days at the time of recording this. I've tried to do the just eat chicken breast, white rice, and broccoli for every meal, every day and it lasted like seven minutes before I gave up. I thought I liked salmon, but then I tried cooking my own salmon. I was like, yeah, I'm just not a salmon guy. I cannot eat this three times a day. Diets like keto, carnivore, uh, vegan, if you're doing it just to be healthy, you're not doing it to be a good person, I guess. I mean, they're all bullshit in terms of, yeah, they will work for a certain amount of time. I've tried keto, I've tried carnivore before. I haven't tried vegan because I, I, I want to be that good guy, but I can't I can't give up chicken, man. Nail impossible chicken breast, I will be there. But if you use these things to lose, say, 80 pounds over the course of 150 days, the second you go back to eating what you want and you give up the keto, you give up the carnivore, you give up the vegan, your body is going to adjust and be like, oh wait, no, we were used to this thing, and then it's going to start putting the weight back on. As opposed to if you're just eating what you like to eat from the get-go, losing weight that way, I'm still gonna be eating this way for 
pretty much hopefully the rest of my life. Like, yeah, if you give me the best slice of cheesecake of all time and it's a thousand calories, I will have room in my diet that day. I'll be like, yep, yeah, I could fit a thousand calories to eat the best slice of cheesecake in the world because having that flexibility is nice to have. But on the days where I still want cheesecake, but I don't want all those calories, I made my own protein Oreo cheesecake and it was so bomb. So just eat what you want from the start, whether it's a unhealthy version in a small portion or a healthier high protein version in a big portion, doing those things is going to make losing weight so much less of a task. Like just eating the broccoli, chicken breast, all that. Just not, not sustainable every single day, at least not in my book. Let's talk about cardio. People say cardio kills gains. I think cardio is a great thing. The first two months of losing weight, I only did cardio. Now, mainly that was because we are in the middle of a pandemic and all the gyms were closed. But for the first two months, all I did was, I started with just walking about four or five miles a day, every single day. And then I slowly implemented more running with the walking. And when the gyms opened, I took advantage. I went in, started doing weightlifting again. I love weightlifting. The, the key to all of this is finding exercise that you enjoy, but at the same time you should try and enjoy some part of weightlifting and you should implement some sort of cardio. And you have to look at working out in a different sense than what you normally consider working out. Like I don't really consider myself working out anymore. I consider it like training. Like it's just something I have to do every single day. I'll be honest with you. I can only think of one time I skipped before making this transformation video. It was one day I was very hungover and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna do it today, but I it wasn't over there because the next day I doubled up on the weightlifting and the cardio, so I made up for that day. The only other day I took off was just like this past week because I was like, hey, I hit my weight loss goal. You know what? I will skip one leg day. I think I deserve that. And I regret doing that for sure, but the idea of always trying to stay in the gym, get your things done, and go like, I, I love working out. It's like almost like my therapy. I just let loose for an hour to an hour and a half every single day and you feel great for the rest of the day. And you just have to look at it as less of this task and more of like this feel good thing. Because yeah, lifting weights at first, it sucks. It's the worst. But give it like two or three weeks and you look forward to it every day. Even if you don't feel like going to the gym by the time you're out of there, you feel fantastic. So. Yeah, just, just train, man. It's definitely important. I also work out fasted, so I guess going into the next thing. Uh, fasting will really, really speed up your weight loss a lot. Out of everything on the list, this is the thing you could skip. Like, if you don't feel like fasting every single day, uh, you don't have to. If you don't know what fasting is, Google it, Bing it, whatever you gotta do. Uh, there's way more smarter people that explain it better than me. But the basic premise is uh, you split up your eating window, so instead of eating first meal at 6 a.m., last meal at like 10 p.m., you have like a certain window of time where you should be eating. I eat once a day. Uh, people think I'm crazy for doing that, but I just say, hey, don't be a bitch, just try it. I'm someone that likes having huge meals as opposed to just an egg in the morning, a cheese stick midday, like I, I can't do that at all. I like sitting down, eating pretty much whatever I want, having a full just course of stuff that is still within my caloric deficit and enjoy. You don't have to do the one meal a day, you can do two meals a day where you do like half your calories at like noon and half your calories at like 7 p.m. Whatever you wanna do, like counting the calories is more important than the fasting part of it, but if you do do OMAD or just intermittent fasting, you will feel fantastic, you will shred body fat a lot faster, and it's just, it's easy to do because I'm a very busy guy, I try and get things done all the time, and just only having to cook once a day, just it saves me a ton of time. And it's definitely worth trying if you have not already. Next up, you have to drink a gallon of water every single day. You ever see the douchebags that have this walking around like campus when you were in college? Well, guess what? You are now one of those douchebags. Because you think you're drinking more water than you actually are, but you are not getting this every single day. I guarantee you. And if you're not used to drinking like a gallon of water every day, I swear to God, the first week, if you just do nothing, and just drink a gallon of water every single day for a week, you will shred like three pounds off your body for sure. I drink at least one of these a day. It usually ends up being one and a half to one and three quarters of a gallon. Uh, when you first start doing it, you will piss every 15 minutes, I guarantee it. But the benefits of just drinking that much water, it, it just can't be matched. You will just feel better, your skin feels better, uh, and you will just rapidly be shredding weight off because you're just constantly 
like I said, not a science guy, but there, there's a reason you should be drinking a lot of water for sure. Next up, we have cut out alcohol. Now trust me, this hurts. This comes from somebody that at one point in his life considered partying a passion. I love it, I missed it, and I still really love it. And luckily with quarantine, I didn't really have that temptation to constantly go out uh, go binge drinking or go to a bar because everything was closed. I'm not one of those people that's just gonna sit in my living room and just drink by myself. I need at least two people to join me in that. And even when the bar is open for like three days in Florida, I was like, yeah, you know what? You guys go get that virus. I will chill out for a little bit. Alcohol is not necessarily like the worst thing for your diet, but the problem is if you have alcohol in your system, it slows down your ability to digest food properly and it's I'm not a scientist, once again. That being said, if you love to hang out with people, if you love to socialize like that, uh, you can still fit it in. I mean, there were still a couple nights where I was drinking with my friends, for sure. Uh, I was more calorie conscious. Like, when I came to mixed drinks, I had, like, sugar-free Red Bull as opposed to just the 140-calorie Red Bull. I had to use sugar-free soda. I learned how to make, like, a mojito, which is way healthier for you. So do indulge in it a little bit. Just save calories throughout the day because you know you're going to be drinking with your friends later. And yeah, I mean, I guess that brings us to the last step, which is understand your why to losing weight. It's the corniest shit I've ever said, I know. But you do need to have a why as to why you're doing all this. From the start, I wrote down why I wanted to lose weight. I would look at it every single day and I'm like, yep, I got to do this. There's a plethora of reasons as to why I want to lose weight, but I think the main reason came down to, if you know me personally, I am one ambitious motherfucker. There's a lot I wanna do, there's a lot I plan on doing before I die, hopefully not soon. And I feel like if I talk that kind of game, I have to look like that type of person. I have to look like the person I picture myself being years from now. I have to be just healthy, just being able to live longer so I can do more things. Like, forget looking good, like just being healthy. I feel so much better than I did back in March. And I thought I had gained so much confidence when I like moved down to Florida. I was like, damn, this is really who I wanna be. And then like this just brought that to a whole other level. Nobody can transform you besides you. And I'm telling you, it is just, it's so worth it. Like there's no feeling that matches how I'm feeling right now. I started doing this because I was like, yeah, I just, I really wanna see my abs. But then it came to the whole mental benefit of doing this, which is something I didn't really know I needed. I thought, I was all good mental health wise, but the second I started doing all this, I just felt like, I, I just feel like I could take over the world right now, honestly. I wasn't handed an opportunity by anyone to just lose weight. I just made the fucking decision to actually go do it. It took me six months to reach my goal, but at the end of the day, it took me about 10 years to make the decision to actually get this done finally. So I hope this helps you. I'm rooting for you. I want to see that before and after video of yours for sure. My name is Chase. This is Chilling with Chase. I guess I'm completely rebranding this uh, old YouTube channel I had. Uh, there's a lot of YouTube stuff I really want to get into now. Uh, not really related. I mean, there will be some movie stuff on here for sure, but it's not the only thing I want to focus on on here. I don't know. I have plans. We'll see what happens with it. But this is Chase with Chilling with Chase. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.